my peeps. Oh man, I just got home. I had a um, a nice day in town with Gracie. We um, we went and picked up my mama. I don't know how many of you guys have ever picked up someone from Neptune Society. Um, used to be they gave you an ugly little black plastic box. Looked like it came from Dollar Tree. And now they give you this kind of heavy duty, oh, I don't know what it would be, um, like Formica kind of thing. And um, so, yeah. Say hi to Mama! <laughs> and they, they put it in this very nice shopping bag that says Neptune Society on the outside. Just in case you weren't sure what was in there, now you know. So, Gracie and I decided that we were going to take Mama on one last shopping trip. So, we went to uh, Macy's and we looked for that clutch that Leanne showed you in one of her videos. It's the pink Betsy Johnson clutch that has a horse and a unicorn and above the horse it says you and above the unicorn it says me. <laughs> it's so cute. And she found it on sale at Macy's last week, I guess. Um, so I was hoping to find another one, but lo and behold, there weren't any, no big. And then I took my mama to the fragrance counter and to the benefit counter. And we just looked for new samples of stuff and just kind of wandered around the makeup area. And uh, then we were done. We'd done our, our last Macy's shopping trip together, <laughs> which I know was totally weird. But that's why you love me, right? Um, on the way home, I stopped and picked up mail. And I picked up some wonderful um, mail from some of my peeps. And I'm going to share it with you. My friend Judy sent me a lovely sympathy card that says, Remembering a Beautiful Life. You've lost someone who touched the lives of many and who will be deeply missed with sympathy. Um, hugs, Judy. And it's just so beautiful with the monarch butterfly and all of that. So pretty, so uplifting. I am. Um, yeah, it's funny. I, I feel a little ambiguous about love mail, friend mail, coyote mail, whatever you want to call this stuff, when your peeps send you things. Um, in part, I feel just absolutely thrilled and tickled and excited when I see something with Cheryl Coyote on it in the mail. It's so exciting. And a bunch of stickers. I know I've got love coming. <laughs> but I also feel a little guilty because sometimes I forget to open things on camera. Sometimes I forget to thank you. Um, I'm, I often don't remember to send um, a thank you note back or to to remember to send you something throughout the year just to say thanks for, for watching and for being my friend and being so supportive and all of that. So it feels a little weird on, on this side of the, on the receiving end of so much love. It makes me, it makes me want to be a lot more organized about making notes about when people send me stuff and all that. So FYI. Um, I also got another beautiful card from Audra Jennings. She sent, she's, man, she's got the hookup on the papyrus cards. She really does. Look at that. Isn't that neat? With the bicycle and all the, it looks like somebody hand colored it. So neat. Um, and it's just, it's a thank you card because I had, um, I'd sent her a few things. Um, um, to sort of say thanks for all the stuff she sent me. She's really been generous. Um, and I just wanted to kind of pay that back a little bit. So I sent her some stuff. And this here's my thank you card for that. So that was uh, lovely. Um, thank you, Audra. You have, you have a very big heart. And I know all of those of us who have received uh, mail from you really appreciate it. I know I do. I also got a... Um, a very thick letter from my friend. Um, she lives in Texas, and I guess I guess it would be all right for me to tell you her name. Her name's Glenda, 
and um, we're doing kind of this pin pal thing where we're writing back and forth. So I have a nice meaty letter to lie down on my bed with later and have my limeade that Grant brought home and dig into this letter. Um, Glenda always writes the most thoughtful letters with lots of interesting information. So that's been, I'm really looking forward to, to reading that. Then my friend Cynthia sent me something that I haven't even looked at. All I did was open up the... Um, the box and rip off the return address label. Um, I just love the sticker thing. When people put stickers on the outside of their boxes, it's just so cool. Or envelopes or whatever. So I thought it would be interesting to, um, to open this with you guys. So here we go. There's little green angel turds. So let's see, the first thing I come to is this. Oh. I love this. I've had this before. Pure maple sugar candy. I love the flavor of maple. Just love it. Thank you. And then there is another little thingy down there. Ooh. Maple Surple. Yes, indeedy. Grant, look, we got real maple Surple. Oh. <coughs> and. No. Oh dolphins and pretty blue washi tape. Let's see what it is. Oh, neat. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this, you guys. It's a mermaid book with a beautiful antique shoe clip. Um, on the on the deal that on the elastic that keeps it closed, it has a mermaid die cut with a shell, so pretty. And on the inside, it is a um, oh you know a scrapbook, and I'll show you the pages. Pretty. There are little pockets. Oh, this is cool. What do we do? We swim! That's what we do. <laughs> Go with the flow. Isn't that neat? There's an island theme. This is so cool. And a seahorse to go with my seahorse bracelet that I'm wearing right now. That Leanne made me. Um, a seashell is never empty. It's filled with many things. It holds the sounds of the crashing waves and songs that mermaids sing. Not pretty. This is neat. This is so neat. Got angelfish. The Mermaid by Alfred Tennyson. Who would be a mermaid fair, singing alone, combing her hair, under the sea in a golden curl with a comb of pearl on a throne? Well, that would be me. That's who that would be. <laughs> I love these mermaid die cuts or cutouts. They're neat. And here's some clownfish, right? I think those are clownfish. Another little pocket that says, I am fluent in whale. Oh, yes, I am. And this is a an orca theme. And mermaid kisses, kisses and starfish wishes. I'm going to make you sit through every single page because these pages are awesome. Just keep swimming. Oh, I love this. A little bag with a little tag with a... Um, uh, uh, tortoise on it. That's darling. Another seahorse theme. Keep calm and be a mermaid. <laughs> Pretty illustration of shells. 
I have dreamt I am a mermaid, or am I a mermaid dreaming I am me? Good question. No. I love the glitteries. Here we have Ariel. And last we have, I guess these are angelfish. So, I, Cynthia, I'm going to have fun figuring out what I am going to use this for. Maybe what I'll use this one for is when Abigail and I head to the um, head to the coast. We're going to the coast of Oregon um, together sometime this summer. And maybe that's what this one will be about, is a tribute to our Oregon Coast trip. So, it's beautiful. Thank you. I love it when people make me stuff. Okay. Now we have... Maple Magic Cooking with Pure Vermont Maple Syrup. A little booklet on cooking with uh, maple syrup. And now in here, in this wonderful piece of seashell-themed wrapping, we have something. We have a little bag. A little blue bag. And in the blue bag we have things that are wrapped in more ocean-themed paper. Ooh! I have, um, this is neat. This is sand with a bunch of jewels and seashells in it. And I bet you that has a special purpose. It's going to find its special purpose. It says, Mermaid candle holder. You place the sand and the shells and the sea glass in the bottom of a glass jar and you place a lit candle inside and watch the mermaid swim in her enchanted ocean. Oh, neat. So I've got my, my, my sand and stuff and my enchanted glass jar and a candle to go with it. How cool. That is super cool, and I do believe that comes to the very end of our beloved things, except for my card. Let's take a look at the card, shall we? Oh, yes, we shall. Oh, I've been feeling so mermaidy lately, just so liquid. I'm not sure why. Oh, this is darling. This is called Away From Home Into a World of Her Own. It was painted by Frances Topham, um, who lived from 1838 to 1924. Let me get a little closer to you. Isn't that beautiful? This guy was a pupil of his father. He enrolled in the Royal Academy. Um, schools. I think that was in London. Traveled to Paris. He worked in um, Philadelphia. He was a member of the Royal Institute of Painters and Watercolor. So he was quite a guy. All right. This is also a sympathy card. Um, Dearest Cheryl, so sorry for the loss of your mom. Hold on to all those wonderful memories of her. She was a woman of grace. Much love, Cynthia. Yes, she was a woman of grace. Absolutely. And then a nice thick letter, too. So I've got two nice thick letters to, to dig into tonight. All right, there you go. That was my lovely friend mail. Thank you guys so much. Um, let's... You know me so well. I mean, <laughs> everybody who sends a card or a gift or something they made, it always, I can always tell you, you listen. You listen to the things I say and you know the things I like. So thank you so much. Um, I am now going to take my letters and some limeade 
and I am going to go lie down on my bed and read. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Bye.